Hey, Morton. Um, thank you, first of all, for uh, looking at our Expo probe and for doing a video on it. Um, we noticed while you were using the probe and talking about it um, that uh, there were some difficulties. You notice we have like three different dry cleaning methods. The, the, the old clee top has, uh, has proven its worth over and over again. The one click, the one you use, and a different brand. Basically, they all use the same method, which is what we call the dry method. The problem with the dry, me dry method is in a dusty environment, the dry method creates an electrostatic charge on the connector. So if you clean it with the dry, me the dry method, and then you just uh, leave it here on the table, for example, and then you do other things, and then you come back to it, and then you plug it in, it's possible that there's dust that has come back due to the static charge and back onto the connector. There's a difference, there's a reason why there's a difference in pricing between some name brands like these ones, why these ones cost 150 bucks in some cases, and why the cheap ones from China cost 10 bucks. Uh, the thread on it is not as good, so the cleaning is not as efficient. So, once you test it with the probe, and the analysis runs its course, and then you get a passing grade, then if you're not ready to, to connect it yet, you can simply put the dust cap on it. Don't push it far to the end. Don't push it completely in because there is some dust in the caps, okay? And if you push it to the end, then it's possible that you will put some dust back onto the connector end and you don't want to do that. So you just put the cap back on and then when you're ready to plug it in, you just plug it in. I noticed that in the pack that you had, you had some uh, uh, wet wipes. Uh, the wet wipes are really useful, but in a last resort. Normally, for cleaning, for any types of cleaning, uh, the one click should suffice. The wet wipes will be used when you have like really, really tough dirt to get rid of. Uh, you've got embedded uh, crusty dirt on your connector, and even 20 clicks of this will not work. You can use the wet wipes. But what is really, really important is when you use the wet wipes, you need to dry it off afterwards. So if I had a wet wipe with me and I would wipe the end of the connector with it, I would then use a click to just dry it off, okay? So just to make sure that there are no oily residue on the connectors and face. Because a wet wipe that isn't dried off basically gives us the same kind of results as you have when you wipe your finger on the connector. You've got a lot of oily residue and it's gonna fail, okay? So you don't want that. So what you want is you wanna make sure that you wipe it dry with the click and then you simply run your analysis and it's now perfectly clean, okay? So again, thank you for your video. Uh, we thought you might just enjoy these tips uh, for cleaning uh, the fiber and using the uh, product properly, and uh, have a great day.